Ibn Khaldun, a 14th-century Arab historian, philosopher, and scholar, is best known for his work on the philosophy of history and sociology. His philosophy was deeply rooted in the idea that the state was necessary to restrain injustice within society. However, he also believed that the use of force by the state could be considered an injustice in itself. This complex viewpoint on the role of the state in society set Ibn Khaldun apart as a unique and influential thinker. One of the key aspects of Ibn Khaldun's philosophy was his understanding of the cyclical nature of societies. He argued that all societies go through a natural cycle of growth, peak, decline, and eventual collapse. This perspective was based on his observation of historical events and the rise and fall of empires. He believed that this cycle was driven by the social cohesion and solidarity of a society, and that once these bonds weakened, the society would begin to decline. Ibn Khaldun's philosophy also emphasized the importance of culture and education in the development of societies. He believed that a strong culture and education system were essential for the progress and prosperity of a society. He saw the transmission of knowledge and values from one generation to the next as a key factor in the success of a society. This focus on culture and education set the foundation for his ideas on the factors that contribute to the rise and fall of civilizations. Another significant aspect of Ibn Khaldun's philosophy was his understanding of the role of economics in society. He recognized the importance of economic factors in shaping the development and stability of civilizations. He believed that the division of labor, trade, and wealth distribution played crucial roles in the success or failure of a society. This economic perspective added depth to his overall philosophy on the factors that influence the growth and decline of societies. Ibn Khaldun's philosophy also delved into the concept of political leadership and its impact on the stability and progress of societies. He believed that effective leadership was essential for the well-being of a society, and that the qualities of a leader could significantly influence the course of history. His analysis of political leadership and its effects on societies provided valuable insights into the dynamics of governance and power.